Hey, what's up? This is Daniel T2K coming to you with another update or another blog of the inspirational series, which is episode two entitled Getting Motivated, Dealing with Struggle, and Taking Action. In review, the last one was about uh, the year of the follow through. Basically, what that meant was that it's okay to pick up where you left off on things that you didn't complete last year and th that you struggle with and picking it back up and giving it another shot, you know, which brings me to an epiphany I had over the weekend. And it was about belief. You know, sometimes people say, if you don't believe that you can do this, you, you can't. And I think that's true up to a certain extent. You know, because sometimes you can, and I'll, I'll, and I'll give you an example for myself. I didn't believe I could play bar chords on guitar. Um, I was like, it's too hard, my finger hurts, I can't get that bar right over the frets, and I, I just can't do it. And I thought these things, and I said these things out loud. But for some reason, I kept trying to do it. Now, that could be a contradiction right there. Why would I say I can't believe it's going to work and I don't think it'll work, but yet here I am still practicing and still trying to work on it and then eventually I kind of got to where I could do it. Well, the truth is, is that I believed that I could do it the whole time along, even though I thought I couldn't, even though I said I couldn't. And, and that goes into action. You know, your actions, I believe, are your final word on what you believe and what you don't believe. If you don't believe your car will start and you still turn it to see if it does, you believe it's going to start. Why else would you put the key into the ignition and turn the starter to see if it starts? If you didn't believe you could get a job and you didn't believe that they were hiring, you, why even go? And see your actions, and which is a good thing, you know, I think that your actions, now it does help to believe that you can do these things, but sometimes subconsciously I think your actions will believe for you sometimes you know and you know and that's that's why I say get motivated you know you, your action and whatever it is that you're struggling or trying to do is your statement of belief that you can do it I don't care what you say I don't care what you think if you're still trying to do it you believe you can do it but getting motivated is is something that I do struggle with myself um, you know, I wouldn't consider myself in a position where I'm all successful or anything like that. But I do have a certain level of success. So, basically, I just gave you a really middle-of-the-ground statement right there. And, and motivation is sometimes really hard. Like I said, I was talking to some friends the other day. Uh, you know, and they talking about, you know, I would work on this project, or I would do this, or I would do that. But I just don't, I just don't feel motivated. I'm lazy. And I, and I tell them, they got to stop saying that. You know, stop saying that you're lazy. You know, you gotta you gotta stop thinking that way. You gotta really fix your thinking, and that's one of the main reasons why I'm doing these inspirational series is for myself to try and think new and positive thoughts, and take new and positive directions, and take new and positive actions to get things done this year, so that I can follow through. If I do not change the way I think, if I don't try to do better, if I don't, if I stop beating up on myself, I'm going to be in the same situation that I was before, if not worse. I have to believe first. Kai Green says you got to save yourself. If you ever seen the video, he talks about you got to save yourself. And I'm not saying that that God ain't doing anything, but I'm saying sometimes you got to do it. Sometimes you have to take action, which gets me back into motivation. Is that you got to find a reason? And it, I know it sounds cheesy, and I know it sounds very simple, but you have to got to find a reason why you th why you do things. The reason I'm learning guitar is because I love how it sounds on R&B songs. I like how it sounds in rock songs. I like how it sounds in rap songs. There's a, there's a certain authenticity that takes your music production to another level when you have a real person playing guitar. I've been in studios where producers call on guitarists to come in and play these guitar tracks over their beats all the time because I know that it adds a certain level of value to the track than if they didn't have it on there. So it's very important to know that it's okay to work on things like that and that's basically the reason why I like to add guitars because I think it adds a certain level of autistic and to me after going through a lot of struggle it's just fun it's fun you know and that was the reason why I was motivated to add guitars to my production to help increase my chances of getting my music out there to increase my chances of making a pleasant listening experience to the music that I produce and that I put out you know and another point about this inspirational series is struggle. We all have struggle, but I'm starting to come to the point, and I have to remind myself that struggle is a good thing. Because struggle 
is a forward and outward expression of your belief in yourself. If you're struggling to do whatever it is that you want to do, for instance, struggling to pay rent, it's struggling from paying rent is different than not trying at all. And there's a big difference there. You know, if you don't try at all, then you just kind of throw your hands up and say, forget it. And sometimes it takes that. Sometimes it takes you throwing your hands up and putting it down for, for a moment or for whatever time that works for you. And then picking it back and doing it again. Or struggling with the guitar. Or struggling on keyboards. Or struggling on the workplace. There's a certain learning factor that I've come to learn in my experience that comes with struggle. You know, there's a certain, there's a certain value in education and wisdom that you get without the shortcut. You know, I look at some of these young artists who are out here in this industry. And, you know, some of them have parents that have paved the way for them. Real talk. And if I was a person in a position, I would hook my children the same way. But there are certain lessons that I don't think they're ever going to learn. Maybe until they're grown up. That they would learn had they had to do it all their own. There are certain things that you're learning right now in your struggles. There are certain things that you're learning right now from different people who try to hold you back, who try to keep you from achieving the goal that you want to achieve or doing what you want to do. But my statement to that is, is that you got to keep struggling. I struggle. I struggle every day. I struggle to try to figure out how to get to the achievements that I want to get to and I'm still working on it. There's still some things that I'm trying to learn. And over that process, I've learned a lot. And I, I've become very uh, grat grateful for those things that I learned. And now people come to me and asking me questions. And people come to me asking me for wisdom or motivation because they've seen me struggle for so long on different things. And when they see, they're like, man, Delio's been at this for a while. He's been doing music, man. I've been doing Delio forever. And, and all I really know, he's been doing music. What has he learned? And I have learned some things those who are willing to be taught. But some people judge my surroundings and how I look and judge that I'm not on the radio or something like that. You know, they judge, well, no, actually, I am on the radio. But that's besides the point. People judge that because you don't have A, B, and C, that what you have to say is irrelevant. And I sometimes do that to myself. I'm not going to front. I do that, too. You know. Because there's a certain level of qualification that comes with the achievements and things that you have. But you got to remember that struggling is worth struggling, is worth struggling. Action. I've been thinking about action and, you know, sometimes, you know, you hear popular sayings, wait. Wait on this, wait on that. And it's up to you as an adult to determine what you need to wait for and what you need to take action about. For example, jobs, right? You got to take action to go get a job. Nine times out of ten, the job isn't going to come to you. Um, that's just how it is. There are some things that you just got to go ahead and get yourself. People don't agree with that. Some people don't like that. Um, I'm at the point where I got to go get this. I got to make moves. I got to make decisions. I got to make things happen. I got to make choices. I got to face fears. And the best way, to my knowledge, on how to face your fears is by action. David Schwartz says, do the thing, consider the thing that you fear the most, and then do it. Take action. Because the sooner that you take action in what you've been hesitating on, like for instance, maybe I've came into a little bit of hesitation of doing this inspirational vlog, episode two, because it's not on Sunday. But I had to put everything down that I was doing and say, you know what, I need to follow through on this vlog. If not for anyone else, myself. So action is a very good thing. Well, I'm out of time. I hope that this helped. And, um, you know, stay tuned for our next Sunday where I do episode three. I haven't got a topic yet. But I just wanted to do some more motivational speaking for those, my friends, family, and those who ever cares to watch my videos, whoever's out there. And I just want to thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking me on Facebook. Dilio on Facebook. Thank you for following me on Twitter. I really appreciate that. And uh, 
I look forward to hearing your comments, and I hope that this helps you as it helps me. I'm out of here. Peace.